So we're back in the Emerald Isle, Ireland, and it's the Emerald Isle for a very, very good reason. It's very green, okay, first of all, but that is because over there is the Atlantic Ocean and all our weather systems come across the Atlantic Ocean and dump tons of rain. We know because we've been here for several days and we've had cloudy skies and quite a bit of rain. Um, also, if you travelled across there, you would get to Brazil. So this has a massive fetch. So those of you who are in 10, 11, you should know all about this because year 11, you should have revised it. Year 10, we're studying it now. So the waves here have travelled all the way from the Atl across the Atlantic from Brazil. Now, normally they're very big waves. You can see today it's very calm because it's not very much wind. But we're standing on this massive headland with lots of coastal features. So down there, you can see a stack formed obviously by the erosion swell. The waves turn the coastline here. There would have been an arch there which has obviously collapsed. So just about make, the rock, make up the rocks that have fallen below. We've also got the wave cut platform again forming from erosion on the cliff. See, geography is all around you. Um, and never better displayed here. Now, Mr. Grigg is going to tell you about the human geography of this place. So, Mr. Grigg. Hello, welcome to Ireland. Land of my grandfather. My grandfather was born in Cork. We were in Cork yesterday, quite proud to be a little bit Irish. Great people, always cheerful. Place meaning, this was a fortified headland. As you can see, got a narrow entrance along the cliff. Would have been a castle here at one time protecting this area. Don't know who was here. Maybe one of the former Irish Earls. Anyway, now it's a golf course, limited accents. Not very happy about the limited accents. But I wanted to tell you something else. It's not very warm here today, but it's much warmer than it should be. Mrs. G was telling you about the Atlantic. Now, what do we know about the Atlantic, about the Irish Sea? basically the Gulf of Sea between Ireland and the UK. Well, we know that the North Atlantic Drift rushes off it. The North Atlantic Drift is a branch of the Gulf Stream. The Gulf Stream originates down kind of like uh, Mexico way, brings warm water all the way up to this part of the world. If it wasn't for the Gulf Stream, the North Atlantic Drift, the temperature in Ireland and the UK would be five degrees lower than it is now on average. So that would give it kind of like the temperature of Canada, much, much colder winters, much, much colder really summers, if you like. What do we know about the Gulf Stream? Well, it's linked to global warming. As all the ice melts, the sea near the Arctic is getting a lot fresher. So therefore it's not sinking. Now at the moment, the kind of like, the, the, the sea that sinks because it's much colder and it feeds back down towards kind of Mexico way and it creates this conveyor belt of current. So global warming in the short term will actually cause the UK to become colder because it will probably shut off the North Atlantic Drift via the Gulf Stream. So we can't even get the benefit of a warmer summer. Bye bye for now.